Hello folks, I am the old sergeant. The Smithsonian National Museum of Africa American History and Culture put out a now pulled document called Aspects and Assumptions of Whiteness and White Culture in the United States. In the attempt to create anti-white propaganda, they actually created a highly racist anti-black document. I'm going to chop up the document and add comments to some of the sections. In the top section here, in addition to the title, we have White Dominant Culture or Whiteness refers to the ways white people and their traditions, attitudes, and ways of life have been normalized over time and are now considered standard practices in the United States. And since white people still hold most of the institutional power in America, we have all internalized some aspects of white culture, including people of color. As if internalizing success and motivation is a bad thing. Let's start out with the first list they have, rugged individualism. The individual is the primary unit. Yes, that is what makes the United States different from all the other nations in the world. That's what made our Constitution and Declaration of Independence important. It was to ensure the rights of the individual. Self-reliance. Of course, that's a bad thing to people that want us all to be reliant on the government so they can control us. Independence and autonomy highly valued and rewarded. Individuals assumed to be in control of their environment. You get what you deserve. Next section, family structure. The nuclear family, father, mother, 2.3 children is the ideal social unit. Yes, it is. And because of what the Democrats did to the black family unit in the 1960s to make sure that we get rid of the father, to take the man out of the house, so that it is financially better for a woman to have kids and get paid for each child than to have a normal nuclear family. That makes you dependent on the government. And that's the whole intent. It makes you dependent, and it makes you dependent, you think, on one party. As President Johnson said, I will have all them N-words voting Democrat for the next 200 years. So destruction of the family is important for their new world order goals. Husband is breadwinner and head of household. Wife is homemaker and subordinate to the husband. Now, this has been the way of humanity for a long time, and we are biologically wired the wife stayed at home and took care of the children. And the man went out, killed something, and dragged it home to eat. So from the very earliest days of humanity, because of the way we are structured biologically and wired psychologically, this is normal. It's not a bad thing. And part of the destruction of our society is to tell women that they've got to be like men. Makes for a lot of unhappy women. And finally here, children should have their own rooms, be independent. Yes, and we teach them so they can be independent and not dependent on the government. Next section. Emphasis on scientific method. Objection, uh, objective 
Rational linear thinking. Yeah. How else are you going to think? Oh, yes. From what we're seeing right now, emotion. You don't deal with facts and reality. You deal with motion. Emotion. Cause and effect relationships. Reality again. Quantitative emphasis. Next section, history. Based on Northern European immigrants' experience in the United States. Okay. Our history of our country is the history of our country. Heavy focus on the British Empire because we broke away from the British Empire. The primacy of Western Greek, Roman, and Judeo-Christian tradition. That is because we have that history written down. We know what it is. We know where we came from. Next section, Protestant worth ethic. Hard work is the key to success. Oh, so you're saying that it's proper for blacks to be lazy? Is that what you're saying here? Work before play. If you don't meet our goals, you don't work, didn't work hard enough. Religion. Christianity is the norm. In this country, most of the people fall under Christianity. But every other religion on the planet is also in our country. Anything other than Judeo-Christian tradition is foreign. That's understandable. We mainly study our own religion and don't concentrate a lot on other religions. We know a little about them, but we always focus on being Christians. No tolerance for deviation from single God concept. Well, that's pretty much a lie. As I said, every single religion in the world is in the United States, someplace. Next section, status, power, and authority. Wealth equals worth. Your job is who you are. Now that one, your job is who you are. Yeah, that's what I grew up learning. That's what I always thought, is that what I do reflects on who I am. And it should. Respect authority. Well, let's do that again as far as telling and trying to teach blacks that they should not respect authority. That if you respect authority, you're acting white. Heavy value on ownership of goods, space, property. Maybe a little too much of that. Next section, future orientation. Plan for the future. That's a smart thing to do. Delayed gratification. Yeah, it's a lot better to save up for that widescreen TV than to go into debt to pay for it. Progress is always best, as opposed to not progressing. Tomorrow will be better. That's called optimism. I guess you're saying that blacks need to be pessimistic. Next section, time. Follow rigid time schedules. Yeah, 
That's how we have meetings on time with everybody. That's how we get the flow of work taken care of by having these schedules. Why is that a bad thing? Should we just have meetings when people feel like showing up for them? At the time they feel like showing up? Time viewed as a commodity. Yes. If I hire a plumber and he has a job that will, on the books, says two hours, I pay him for the two hours, whether it only took him an hour and a half or three hours. That is how we quantify the work. Next section, aesthetics, based on European culture. Okay. Steak and potatoes, bland is best. I don't know where anybody got that idea. Women's beauty, based on blonde, thin Barbie. That may be a valid point. Man's attractiveness based on economic status, power, intellect. So, women like men who have economic status, meaning that they can be taken care of, they have power, and they have intelligence. I would hope a woman would be looking for a man with these characteristics rather than somebody that's poor and not too bright. Next section, holidays. Based on Christian religions. There are a few other holidays out there based on Jewish religions, Buddhist religions. Yes, not as many people uh, celebrate those because there's less of them than they are of Christians based on white history and male leaders. That's the people who did things. Like, for the first time in history, create a government where the individual is paramount and has rights over a king. The next section, justice, based on English common law. Well, considering that the colonies were English colonies, and we had a very good baseline legal system, why not keep it? Protect property and entitlements. That's one of the big things about America, is protect par property means that the property belongs to the individual and not to the king. Intent counts. Of course it should. If somebody is negligent, and because of that negligence, they accidentally killed somebody, that's murder, it's manslaughter. If you intentionally kill somebody, then it's murder. And so intent does count, needs to count. Competition. Be number one. Why not? That's why you compete, to be the best. Win at all costs. Wrong. You win by following the rules, not all costs. That's a lie. That's a racist lie. Winner-loser dichotomy. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, we have to have everybody get a participation trophy because we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Action orientation. 
as opposed to just sitting around. Master and controlled nature. Yeah, I like the fact that we do that. I like being in my house with air conditioning. Must always do something about a situation. That is so generic. How do you even talk about something like that? Though one of the bad things people do is the doing something means making the situation worse. Aggressiveness and extrovertism. People are different and they're not all aggressive and they're not all extroverts. Decision making, as opposed to sitting around unable to make a decision. Majority rules when whites have power. Yeah, what a bunch of racist BS. It's people's political ideology when majority rules. And if you notice, it doesn't always happen that way. In presidential elections, sometimes you had more people than the Electoral College, and they lost to the Electoral College. And that is to make sure that the few big states and big cities don't ride all over all the other states in the Union. Communication. The King's English rules. Well, there's probably out there, and I'm sure I've seen it before, the American English, English English dictionary. Because America's English doesn't necessarily line up with the King's English anymore. Written tradition. Oh, for heaven's sakes, forbid people from actually writing stuff down. Avoid conflict, intimacy. Yes, avoiding conflict is good. We don't have to have unnecessary conflict. And I don't know anybody who ever avoids intimacy. Don't show emotion. Yes, Americans can appear stoic. Not as stoic as the British with their stiff upper lip. We have a tendency to show a bit more emotion than that. Don't discuss personal life. Don't bore people with your life. Be polite. Oh, my God, being polite is a horrible thing. So you're going to teach blacks that they need to be impolite is the correct thing for blacks to be. This was an amazing document. Most of this document is how to succeed in life. Teaching people to be the opposite of this list is to doom them to failure. Perhaps that was the intention. Indoctrinate people to ensure failure in life. Exactly what progressives, the Democrats, want. Communist insurgents are trying to divide America and the American people by race. And they're doing it by putting out crap like this. I am the old sergeant. Stay informed, prepared, active, prayerful, and as always, stay vigilant.